Aaron Phillips here. I uh, just threw this video together real quick to show some people on some forums that were asking about how we would uh, go about machining our 671 supercharger rotors. And uh, while this video is not exactly how we do it, this is a, basically a 6 inch bar stock piece being cut, we would actually have a casting with a lot less machine stock. We'll also be coring out the rotors, which will make them hollow when they're cast. That way it'll reduce a lot of weight. But this is the simulation of what it would look like if our machines were cutting them right now. This software I'm using right now to simulate this is called HMS Works. It's a CAM software working inside of SolidWorks, which is a CAD software. For those of you who don't know, CAM is an abbreviation for Computer Aided Machining which is derived from uh, CAD, Computer Aided Design, where you just draw up a model then you send it to your CAM software and the CAM software will automatically take data that you've inputted from your tool cutters and uh, your machines and different G-codes and automatically input and write the toolpath and then you can take that uh, written toolpath and send it directly to your CNC and it will automatically cut everything. Some people have been asking us what uh, machine we'll be cutting the rotors on, and while we do have some lathes, we actually have been talking about running it on one of our uh, brother's 4th axis 2 pallet uh, indexing machines that is capable of running 16,000 RPM spindle speed, so they're extremely fast machines made for high production and high speed machines. We've been talking about getting a diamond lollipop cutter that will enable us to uh, run the machines extremely fast and take off a lot of stock and allow us to have an extremely fine finish. And if you want to see what aluminum looks like when it's cut with a diamond cutter, you can check out this video that's popping up now, and it is a video of some parts that we machined a while back, and they are also cut with a diamond cutter, and you can see how fine of a finish that it will leave. So if you like these videos and seeing how things are made, like them, share them, subscribe, I'll be making a lot more.